All Things Bike with Fred Thomas is brought to you by Frame and Wheel, eBay selling services for cyclists and bike shops throughout New England, and AD Bikes, the modern face of Austro Daimler Cycling and the bike company of the future. <music> I'm Fred Thomas, and you are watching another episode of All Things Bike, a new program about the bicycle, the culture of the bicycle, and the people and the organizations that make the bicycle community roll here and away. We have a great show for you tonight. We will be speaking with Kim Shamard of the Trek Across Maine and Melissa Walden of Cycle the Seacoast. Um, so let's get right to it. Melissa? Nice to meet you. How do you do? Fred Thomas and thank you for Kim. Us. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming down. It's great to have you. Um, well, let's just talk about these two rides. Um, Kim, you're affiliated with the Trek Across Maine. Yes. Melissa, you're affiliated with the Cycle the Seacoast. Yes. Let's start with you, Kim. Tell us about the ride. Uh, what, what should we know? Well, we're going to be celebrating our 32nd annual ride this year. Um, and what we really always like to say, people aren't always familiar with the fact that right. um, obviously the money raised from the Truck Across Maine supports the American Lung Association. Right. And it is the largest fundraising event of its kind in the entire nation for the Lung Association. So right here in Maine, we raise the most money out of any other event in the country, and so we're so proud of that. Amazing, how did that happen? I mean, did, did someone from the American Lung Association sort of start riding his bike in Maine 30 years ago? Or it started off very story? small, right. um, and actually one of the gentlemen that worked with us for a number of years, he just mm -hmm. retired, um, Ed Miller. Wow. A lot of people around the state are familiar with him. Mm -hmm. wow. um, he was kind of involved in the beginning stages of it, and I think that the first ride had between 100 and 200 people, um, right, something right. like that, and it was all completely self-supported, um, right. very low budget, very low key. Um, yeah. But why was it Trek? I mean, that suggests that they're walking. I mean, was it? I mean, because now when I when when the Trek across Maine comes up on the on the web, sometimes I think of oh, Trek bicycles or Star Trek. Yeah. But and then I think oh, it's a Trek across Maine. But so they really they started off with bikes. They, oh yes. They weren't walking or hiking no, or anything. No, they've always been cycling, <laughs> and it's always been you know three days across the state. We've right. had. Numerous finish lines um, over the years. Right. They've been in Rockland, they've been at Owl's Head, and they've been in Belfast, Belfast um, yeah. at the Samoset Resort. So it's kind of moved around a little bit, but yeah. um, we're pretty pretty well set in our home in Belfast now right, as right. our finish line. Um, they're so good to us there, and we really enjoy right, having right. the finish line actually be there. So we start at Sunday River Ski Resort mm -hmm. um, for the first day of the event. Mm -hmm. We travel to the University of Maine at Farmington for an right. overnight stop. Um, then we travel from Farmington to Colby College in Waterville for our second overnight stop. Mm -hmm. um, and then we finish up the weekend on Father's Day every right. year, so Sunday Father's Day, um, right along the water in Belfast. And it's beautiful mm -hmm. right down in the park, right. Um, right in the middle of the city. It's, it's a great place to be. Wow, so that's three days, yes. 186 miles. Yeah, 180 miles 180, approximately, 180 give or take. <laughs> wow, well that's good. So we, we're going to come back to, to sure. some of the details on, on the trek across Maine. So, how does that, I mean, how does this, the cycle, the seacoast, um, uh, compare? Um, the cycle, the seacoast is a totally different ball game. Right. Um, it's more for the one day cyclists that don't want to go for a three day uh, yeah. ride. Yeah, so um, Tour de France versus right. like um, Milan San Remo. I'm, I'm talking bicycles <laughs> here, sorry, but go it's on. Okay. Yeah, right. One day event, right? It's a one day event, but it's really great because it's good for the beginner cyclists because we have a 25 mile route, uh -huh. um, we have a 50 for intermediate right and then we have a hundred for you know the avid cyclists guys who feel like mm -hmm. they've got to prove right. something mm -hmm. and it's early in the season it's May 1st so it's a great first mm -hmm. ride of the season because typically people aren't really riding a lot in April right. depending on what <laughs> state you're in like today for example <laughs> right it's snowing. So um, it's really great, and in the same aspect, all the money that's raised, mm -hmm. it goes to the American Lung Association. So right, right. Kim and I work together on both events, actually, 
Um, I right. primarily do cycle the seacoast and right, right, right. the trek across Maine. Now, have, have, um, I mean, have you both done the rides yourselves? Have you done the trek across Maine? Never. I'm not actually a cyclist myself. Um, oh, okay. I think the last time I was on a bike was probably in middle school. I mean, there's still time. There's still <laughs> there's time. Still time. I mean, you didn't forget. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Uh, I mean, yeah. working at the event is, I think, sometimes harder than actually I'm riding sure it. it. Um, kind of managing all the logistical pieces. <laughs> I, bet, um, I bet. But maybe someday. You never well, know. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about how... Um, um, I, if I wanted to do it, what I would have to do, I mean, because there is, it's not a just, you know, sign up and turn up and ride. There's a little bit more to it. So um, how does it work for the trek across Maine? Sure. Well, we do have, you know, a registration process and a fundraising minimum that's involved, of mm -hmm. course, as it is a fundraising cycling event. So right. um, the fundraising minimum is $550 for individuals, um, mm -hmm. $400 for kids under the age of 18, right. um, but we always encourage people to really get as much saddle time in as you can as far as training goes. Oh yeah. Um, a lot of times people will be really intimidated thinking of the full 180 miles all at once or yeah. 60 miles a day all at once, and so we really right. encourage them to think of it more of um, rest stop to rest stop. Right. The ride is fully supported by volunteers, um, medical right. professionals, and so we have a rest stop along the route each day approximately every 15 to 20 miles. So right, right. when people are kind of getting into the event and really starting to train for it, we like to tell them to think of it in you know, 15 mile increments, 20 mile increments. Right. If, you can, if you can do 20 miles, yeah. you get a break, you can get off your bike, you right, can right, stretch, right. you can get a snack. Right, right. Um, so we really encourage people to think of it that way. Right. And really, if you're able to get your seat under you and get training in those muscles and right. really get prepared that way, it's going to make the actual event itself a whole lot easier. <laughs> right, right. And does it does that resonate with the, with you and, and the cycle of the seacoast? Because it's a it's a smaller thing. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. It's a one day event. Right. Yeah. I mean, definitely, I would suggest yeah. a little bit of training beforehand. Yeah. With it being so early in the season, it's a little bit harder. But yeah. um, you know, that's what indoor spin classes are for. I yeah, guess. Yeah. Right. And the trainer. But then, how about yeah. um, how about some some tips on, let's say, I, I sign up and then mm -hmm. I, I need to you know, raise $500. I mean, how do I, how do, I do that? I mean, well, it's, um, it's actually, since it's a smaller event mm -hmm. um, and a one-day ride, the minimum fundraising fee is much lower. Oh, okay. Um, so um, for this year, it's $200, and then we do have the $100 minimum for ages 7 to 17. Right. So um, it's a lot less challenging in that aspect, um, mm -hmm. but you're not committing as much time, and obviously the expenses on our end aren't as much. So right. it works out. Um, as far as training physically, um, <laughs> You know, just yeah. get out as much as you, you can before. That's right. That's right. But and and then in the in the case of cycle the seacoast, it, it's a one day loop, mm -hmm. so it's not going point to point from Belfast or from Bethel right, to Belfast. Right. Where, where does it go? Around? The start and end is in one place. It's at Red Hook Brewery in Portsmouth. Oh right. Mm -hmm. So so it's kind of like a loop. The twenty five and then the fifty is a little bit right. bigger, and the hundred is a little bit bigger than that. Does that bring you into Maine if you do the hundred? No, it actually quite. goes west instead of east. But um, it's a nice seacoast ride, so you get to see right, right. the beautiful um, Portsmouth area. It's a great, a great area. Now, um, what else? Um, is there anything else that we should know about um, the trek across Maine before, like this year, for example? I mean, they're, they're, I think they're, they're, there's normally the three day, but then there's the two day. Yeah, the two day option is new this year. It's sort of always been. Something something we've offered mm -hmm. um, sort of behind the scenes for folks who maybe right. signed up to ride all weekend and for whatever reason they you know couldn't yeah. get Friday off from work their kids yeah. may still be in school whatever happened that way and so mm -hmm. um, we actually decided this year to really make it a more permanent fixture of the event something people could actually sign up for right. at the beginning is only to commit to those two days rather right, than right, three right. Yeah. Um, so the fundraising minimum is a little bit lower for that um, mm -hmm. $450 and right. um, they will start their ride right at mm -hmm. Colby College. Right. Um, they'll ride a shorter loop around sort of the Waterville, Oakland area right, right, right. that day, and then finish in Belfast with all the other cyclists. Right, on right. That's, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I, I did the trek across Maine, oh. um, but I did it in one day because I don't like to camp. Oh. I'm not a camper, <laughs> and, and it, you know, it took all day, and I had, had support. But um, um, I, can, I can see how um, you know, the, the Colby Loop is, is a, a little bit mm -hmm. more, more accessible. Mm -hmm. How about with the Cycle of Seacoast? We're, we're, we're sort of wrapping things up here, but what's, um, are, are there any, any changes or any? Um, the, the there's horizon? no changes. This is our seventh year. Oh, right. Um, right. No major changes. We have had it in different areas, kind of like the Trek. They've changed, oh, yeah, yeah. switched up the area a couple times. but. Um, same route right, for right. the most part as last year. That's good. Um, the fundraising min minimum has been dropped a little bit. Um, 
And registration is, is soon, right? Or, or You can register at any time. You could actually register the day of the event on May 1st. Perfect. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're a planner, you might want to do yeah, yeah, beforehand. But, but there's no sleeping accommodations, typically, yeah. unless you're you know pretty far away. But yeah, Right. And, and that's the same thing with Trek Across Maine. You can yep. you sign up Yep. Registration. Our online registration closes on May 20th, but we right. do still accept registrations after that point by calling and emailing. Right. Um, we do have a variety of volunteer opportunities as well um, for people who maybe aren't ready to either do the fundraising or ride um, right. the full 180 miles. Right, right. Um, and then there's tons of information on our website, um, biketreknewengland.org as right. well. And then the dates for the trek this year are June um, 17th through the 19th. So right. it's always on Father's Day weekend. That's for right. Yeah. I mean, I wonder, mm -hmm. is that to get to, is that for, for dad? I don't know. But anyway, that's great. Look, um, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much Kim, for, for us. coming down. No, my pleasure. Thank, thank you, you, Melissa. Um, for giving us the overview on those two great charity rides. Um, that is all we have time for today. If you want to learn more about these great charity rides, you can check out the Trek Across Maine uh, on um, Google and um, Cycle the Seacoast. You'll find everything you need to know there. Um, and if you'd like to know more about All Things Bike, we're on the web at allthingsbiketv.com, and we're all over Facebook. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hi everybody, I'm Fred Thomas and you are watching another episode of All Things Bike, a new program dedicated to the bicycle, the culture of the bicycle, and the people and the organizations that make the bicycle community roll here and away. We are speaking with Sue Tidd of the Bike MS Great Main Getaway and with Wade Anderson a regular and dedicated participant in Bike MS events. Sue, Wade, welcome to All Things Bike, and thanks so much for coming down. Thank you, Fred, for inviting us. Absolutely, Good. my pleasure. Um, I'm going to start with you, Wade, um, with a big picture question. Um, what is MS? Um, some of our viewers may not fully know. Um, what, what is MS? Uh, it's, uh, that's actually a great question because the answer is... Uh, it's everything. Right. It is, uh, it's a disease of exclusion. Mm -hmm. So everybody with MS has different symptoms, uh, different disabilities associated with it. There's uh, two different types of MS, and uh, you know, depending on what you have, you'll have different types of symptoms. Uh, right, there's a progressive form, and then there's something else, there's right? There's relapsing remitting, which is right. the, the one that I have is relapsing remitting. Right. Um, which is significantly less debilitating than the progressive MS. Right, right, right. But you managed to ride a bike and, 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 and get out and, and be active, um, even though you have MS. Um, that's a surprise, I, I imagine, for, for most people, because they hear about it and they think um, it's, it's the end of the world. But it's not true. That's correct. Actually, there's a lot of people that I've, uh, I've had friends call me up, tell me that their friends were diagnosed right. and thought it was the end of the world and asked me to talk to them. And the great thing is they never even knew. They knew me, but they didn't know I had MS. Right. And when they found out, they, they kind of looked at it and said, you know, there are more things that I can do. Right. And they got back to being active again and learned to accept it. And actually, a couple of them are on my bike team. Well, <laughs> excellent. Well, I mean, how has your participation in um, the Bike MS um, getaway, or Great Main getaway, but all of the events, how has that um, helped you uh, personally um, uh, live with MS? Well, there's a, more ways than I can really count. Um, well, the top you know, three. Of course, uh, the, maybe the top well, three. one of them is the support of my friends and family. Right. We have a big team that uh, the majority of the team and the supporters of the team are friends and family just looking out for us that have MS and looking for the, the research and development that comes from the donations that they make to the MS Society. Yeah. Um, the, the camaraderie, right. uh, meeting people like Sue, right, uh, right, right. who really dedicate all of their time to advancing the progress of the the, the disease yeah. cure, hopefully, right, uh, right. but right now the, uh, the ability to come up with new medications has been unbelievable in the past eight years that I've been participating. Right. So the, 
the outcome of the new medications has actually worked significantly for me. Right. Well, that's that's wonderful. I mean, bike uh, with the, the National MS Society is a is a national organization, even a global one, right? And um, and as you said, the 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 funds that have been raised um, by all these events is 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 material. Um, and I think a lot of people, when they see um, Bike MS, Great Maine Getaway, they might think, oh, it's just something that's happening in Maine. But it's not. It's happening all over the world. I think I saw one in Melbourne. Um, but, Sue, can you explain um, uh, the history of Bike MS um, in Maine and, and your connection to the event? Uh, Bike MS in Maine started um, 32 years ago. So we've been around a very wow. long yeah. time. Um, and it's, it's really a way to bring together groups of people who want to do something about MS now, and it's the cycling community. Yeah. And by having a uh, ride that's fully supported and a lot of fun, yeah. um, it brings people together and it gives groups like Wade's team, Ring Warriors, an opportunity to celebrate Wade and his teammates who right. have MS right. um, and to support them in a very visible and powerful way. Yeah, that's wonderful, and, and it's and, and it's a variety of rides. It's not a it's a two day event, but but you're not going point to point. You're you're staying in the same area, isn't that right? That's correct. We are um, maybe a kinder and gentler ride than some, where mm -hmm. you just stay at the U University of New England in Biddeford, and they have some great dorms set up there, some with air conditioned and linens and fantastic food. Um, and then on Saturday you set out and you can do anywhere from 25 to 100 miles. We yeah. have four route options on Saturday. Wow. And on Sunday we have three and that's 25 to 75. And when you return, you have a fabulous lobster bait. That's right. I hear it. And the events before and events after. And, and Wade, so you're planning on doing the 100 mile on Saturday and 100 mile on Sunday. I Actually, the, only, the Sunday is a 75 mile option. If there was a 100 mile option, <laughs> yes, I would do it. Oh, nice. But uh, yes, yeah, so the majority of my team does the 100 miles on the Saturday and 75 on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But we also have people that don't feel comfortable with that distance. And they do what they feel comfortable with. And, it's great to have them on. What, what, are some, uh, what are some tips? I mean, you've done a lot of them. Um, and if I were to sign up and do it, what would, um, what would you recommend as, as sort of smart things to do before you set off on these things? Uh, one of the big things is training. Uh, a lot of people don't train enough for it. One of the things that we do with our team is starting as soon as the weather is warm enough, we'll do a ride every Sunday and we'll contact the team. We actually contact a lot of friends that ride bikes that aren't doing the ride with us in hopes that they'll do the training with us and eventually someday they'll be on our team. Yeah, right. But it's really, it's a great group thing to get together and we know everybody's training, everybody's going to be ready for the ride. Right. And, uh, and, you, and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to have MS to be in this ride. So some, a lot of the people on your team are, are mm -hmm. families or friends who, who are, uh, have or are connected to MS through you, but they're, they're not, you don't have to have MS in order to be on this ride. Is that, is That's that right. Our team is usually between 15 and 20 members, right. and three of us have MS. Right. And the rest are family and friends that just want to come support us and maybe get in a nice bike ride. Right. And it's and a, a lobster lot of fun. bake, right? <laughs> That's right. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, the camaraderie and just, you know, the celebrations before and after are. And the challenge, too. Right. Um, well, what about I ride with MS? Um, um, that's a program within this, um, within the event, isn't that right? It's a, it's an event where. Right. I, I, can you explain it a little bit about that? Well, the I, I ride with MS is a way to get out there that you are riding the ride and you also suffer from the disease. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps people learn that you know the disease is not as debilitating as they may make it mentally. Right. It's, it's you really have to make sure that people have the mental fitness yeah. to know that they can fight it and it's not going to be as bad if they fight back. Right, right. So, so it's, it's, um, it's a way of signaling to other people in the, in the ride that, that you have MS. And, and what's that like? Do people come up to you and say, you know, I mean, I mean that's, that's an important thing. I mean, can you, can you tell some stories about, about that? Actually, a lot of people uh, at the, there's rest stops about every 12 to 15 miles. Right. People at the rest stops come up and they congratulate you for doing the ride. Uh, it's really the the group is a, just a bunch of nice people right. that really appreciate what everybody's doing, and you know they 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 come up to me a lot and yeah. you know ask me how long I've had it. A lot of people actually come up to me and ask me what medications I'm on. Wow! Right. Because they're having problem with the medication, they know that I have MS also, 
-hmm. and we talk about it and see if we've mm -hmm. tried the same medications, had the same issues. So mm -hmm. you get a lot of information too, just by wearing the jersey. References to other other networks. Um, um, what's, what about the future of the ride? I mean, there, uh, is it always going to be based in Biddeford, or, or is there a plan to move it to different parts of the state, or, or no, what do you think? No, currently we're going to be in Biddeford, and we hope that's going to be our home for a very long time. And, mm -hmm. you know, over the years the ride has changed locations and moved um, in different locations throughout the state, but this is just a beautiful ride. Sure, right. Along the, the beach, and you're, you're right there at UNI in Biddeford, yeah. right on the ocean, and it's just it's fabulous. And um, it's becoming more of a destination ride. So mm -hmm. um, riders that we have currently, they contact family members and friends from out of state and said, you got to come ride with me and, mm -hmm. and know why you're here. Let's make a vacation out of it. Yeah, that's right. And, and the course is not too challenging. Or is there, is there some section of the course where it, it's very hilly or... Saturday's route thing. is is pretty flat. It's mm -hmm. uh, more coastal. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, the riders go inland, um, and then there's a few challenges, but more for the 75 milers right. um, than the rest. And there's always the option of there's support and gear vehicles out there that right. if you just can't make it or if you have a breakdown with your bike, yeah. um, there's not a problem. I mean, there's support out there to help you get to the, either the next stop get to repair, yeah. right, yeah. to get it fixed, or just take you back to the college. Show us this jersey that you got. Oh, Explain okay. us a little bit about that. So Bike and Mass is a fundraising event. That's what we're there to do. We're, to, we're there to raise money so that we can find a cure. And I can call up Wade someday and say, guess what, Wade? We've done it. Yeah. You know, we don't know if Wade's next dollar is the dollar that funds the cure. Mm -hmm. So to, to incentivize uh, riders, if they reach $750 and uh, they become one of our VIP members. And last year, this is last year's jersey, which I hope you can get. It's our lobster on a roll. And uh, it shows uh, actually a, a piece of the course where our riders go, which is by the Bush compound in Kennebunk. Um, and so we love our lobster in the roll, and we're uh, up to deciding what are we going to do with him this year. We've got a couple great designs that are pending. So this too could be yours if uh, it will be, be yours <laughs> if you raise seven hundred and fifty dollars or more. Right, right. And, and um, just a few tips on on that. I, I sign up, and then I need to bring in some friends to to make that. Um, that seven hundred and fifty dollars. What what do I say? I mean, what what? How do I how do I fundraise? Well, once you register on our website, there's a lot of online tools available, including mm -hmm. Facebook for social media. Social media is key nowadays course, to raising yeah. funds. Our participant center allows you to send emails and other communications, thank yous to your donors, and and um, you can put up on your personal page or your team page why you're riding. I think mm -hmm. that's important to share why you're doing this. Right. And um, mm -hmm. is, so we have all those tools available. Right. And it really is about reaching into your network, coworkers, people you go to church with, um, your local community, and asking them to support you in this challenge mm -hmm. that you're taking on. Right, so it's very, it's very digital. Well, isn't there a virtual ride program? Where you, I mean, does that mean you could do it on the trainer? Or, uh, <laughs> you certainly could. Yeah. It's for folks who uh, maybe Wade has a team member that just can't ride this year. They have a wedding or a life experience that's come up, but they still want to fundraise and support Wade, so they register as a virtual rider. I see. And they can still participate. They could still earn this fabulous jersey. See? Wonderful. Well, hey, well, tell us, Wade, about your, your team. Um, this is um, uh, a brochure. This is the kind of thing that you would put together. What, tell us about the team and, and how many people are on it. And, and we're, we're usually between want. 15 and 20 members. Wow. Um, and it's, we basically ask anybody around if they want to join our team. We tell them about the fundraising, which the minimum fundraising is $250. Right not insurmountable for yeah, anyone. It's, yeah. uh, you know, and we have members of the team that range between $1,000 and $10,000 that they raise. Mm. Uh, we have one member of the team that actually is involved with uh, Massachusetts Electricity, and he ends up getting the, uh, the billboards uh, lit up in Massachusetts during the week of MS Awareness Week. Wow. Uh, it's really, I mean, everybody gets involved. And they're really a great group of guys that just get together and just want to help out. And That's, girls. Well, girls now, yes. This is our first year with girls on the team. We're very excited. And your son. Yes. Actually, both of my sons will be wow. doing it this year. My oldest son will be his fourth year. He started as soon as he was 14 years old, the, age that, the minimum age to do it. 
And my other son sitting over there is 14 yeah. this year. So this is going to be his first year doing the ride. All right, wonderful. So. Well, very quickly, is there anything else that, that we should know? Um, well, it's on August 13th, 13th and, and 14th. 14th. And for more information, you go to our website at bikemsmaine.org. And there you'll find out all kinds of information and, and our contact information there as well. So you can always reach out to me, and I'm happy to, to help you. And if you're new and you want some support, mm -hmm. Connect you to Wade. There you go. Well, we are the team Ring Warriors. Ring and Warriors. And we are always looking for more members, people in the New Hampshire area that want to have a weekly ride that they can train with people. We're there. And uh, we welcome anybody who wants to join our team. Well, that's great. Well, um, Sue and Wade, best of luck to you both um, on you. the uh, upcoming event. And thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. That's all, everybody. If you'd like to learn more about the Bike MS Great Maine Getaway, you can take a look online and find the website there and learn more. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.